Oh. My mystery friend is spoiling me in the food department, and this is turning into an ongoing uh, series. This is now number three in the home food delivery lunch or uh, dinner series. I have no idea what is in here. In fact, when it arrived at the door, uh, my landlady brought it over. It was delivered by Food Panda, and I guess they dropped it off at the front of the guest house. And my landlady was kind enough to bring it to my door, knock on my door. I didn't know it was coming. Um, my mystery friend sent me a message on a WhatsApp, but I didn't see the message until uh, the knock came on the door. So this is a, a complete surprise to you and to me. As I said, uh, meal number three in the Food Panda home delivery. And as I said, I have no idea where it came from or what it is. What is that? A little um, Ziploc bag, which is sugar? Why would there be sugar in a little Ziploc bag? We're in un uncharted food territory here. Let's see. It's got to be sugar, right? Or it could be salt, but that's a lot of salt. Sugar. Ooh, another little, uh, little bag of uh, spice of some kind. I'm assuming we're dealing with a hot and spicy um, chili pepper. Let's... Uh, Oh, by the way, if I start um, like really sweating or something, it's, it's humid today. I don't know what's going on, but the air is just dripping with moisture. It almost feels like I could drink the air right now. Yeah. And of course, it's uh, raining outside. Let's try some of this, see what we got going on. Yeah. <laughs> Hot and spicy chili powder. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> you need a PhD in a mixology to enjoy some of this. So we've got a bag of um, sauce with some uh, peppers in there. And that was inside this bag. A bag of vegetables all sliced up. So these were together. And these were also kind of separate sitting on top. So I don't know, like, are all three of these supposed to be combined in some way? <laughs> I, need a, I need a guide to guide me through, you know, what I'm supposed to do with that. And then there are two, um, two lunch boxes in here. So let's see what we're dealing with before we move on. Ooh, look at that. Kind of a fried rice with a fried egg on top. Um, a receipt was in the box, but everything was in uh, Thai. But, um, so I couldn't really read the names of the dishes. I don't even know if the names of the dishes are on there or not. Uh, maybe after I open this, I'll rush inside and do a Google Translate on the receipt and then maybe I can come up with some uh, names for these dishes. Ooh, another one. This one, uh, noodles. And um, I'm pretty sure you, the name, you call this um, pad thai, right? Um, when my landlady knocked up my door and handed it to me, she was smelling the package. <laughs> and uh, she was like, I think it's pad thai, is what she told me. She recognized the smell. So I'm pretty sure this is pad thai. But with the rice dish, I don't know if you would call that, um, like what you would actually call that, other than just a fried rice with a fried egg. So let me do a quick Google Translate. I won't be that long. I don't, I don't want this to get cold, and I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, I'm back from Google Translate. I'm pretty sure this is pad thai because I've had pad thai before and, and I know what pad thai looks like, even though I'm not a food expert. But on the receipt on Google Translate, it doesn't come up with pad thai. It just says basil chicken, 
basil chicken with noodles or basil chicken with rice. So, but I think it is a pad thai. And then for this one, it just says uh, kind of like fried rice with fried egg. But the real mystery is uh, this and this. Um, perhaps one cuts this open. <laughs> My lateral thinking from the last video, you know, instead of fighting with that elastic band, I've now become smarter and I know all you need to do is clip off the corner and then pour it out, all right? And then I assume you could just take this, pour it in there, and then, uh, then you can eat that. But the sugar and the, and the chili pepper? I don't know. To be honest, I'm not much of a guy for adding extra sauces and extra spicing to my food because, I don't know, the normal amount of spicing that goes into a meal here in Thailand is more than enough for me. I mean, there's major flavor in everything, right? So even if I'm sitting at a restaurant and if I order pad thai, it's not like I'm gonna reach for the condiments and start pouring hot sauce on it right away. I just eat it as it is. You know, whoever the cook is, they know how to make dishes, you know, far better than I do. But I think I'm going to add this to this and then uh, have some of these. I'm, I'm guessing that's what I'm supposed to do because as I said, it was inside there. But I didn't bring any, uh, <laughs> any clippers. I'll be right back. Ooh. These are my uh, food scissors. So let's see if I can do this without creating a uh, disaster. Lateral thinking in action. <laughs> just, <laughs> just clip off the end and uh, pour that in there. And I'm just guessing that that is the, uh, the norm for uh, this dish. And to get that out of there, just use a chopsticks, I guess. And again, for me, if I had, you know, a bag of veggies or, you know, like this from the market, I'd probably just eat them without the sauce. That's, you know, it's just what I do. I don't generally even add the sauces when they give them to me. But this is a special occasion from my mystery friend. So let's get that all <laughs> nicely sauced up. And someone in the comments will tell me that, no, don't do that, you've ruined it. The sauce was supposed to go on something else. But um, this is what I'm doing today. So let's give that a try. Mm. It's not too, uh, not too bad. I thought it might be like really, really spicy and overwhelming. Well, you basically just taste the cucumber flavor is what comes out comes out on top with just a little bit of a spicing. It's nice. I can see that if you grew up with this and you got used to cucumber with spice, you wouldn't be able to eat it without the spice. You know, you would if you tried to eat plain cucumber, you might um, find it lacking. You know, you want more flavor than that. Okay. I didn't add any sugar or um, chili powder, but yeah, I don't really know what to do with that. Pad Thai. Now well, we've got some uh, lime, which we squeeze over the top. Reading glasses so <laughs> I can see what I'm eating. Oh yeah, yesterday um, I broke one of my pairs of reading glasses. I actually have three different pairs. This one is for like real close up. And then I have another pair for like computer screen distance. 
and then I have a third for like extreme close up and I broke my uh, computer reading pair, so. Chicken. Yeah, so there's chicken in here, a lot of um, lettuce. Some uh, uh, egg, um, yeah, fried egg. And then all of that with a, uh, on a bed of noodles. Mm. Mm, that's good. Again, I'm no expert on Pad Thai, as always. <laughs> I'm really hungry, so any any food would taste uh, delicious. But this is good. It's a nice uh, nice flavoring, and it's still nice and hot, which I really like. On the receipt, it said it came from Pa Lek, Pa Lek Halal Restaurant. So they serve a halal food there. And actually, I typed Pa Lek into Google Maps, but it didn't come up with anything. Mm. So I'm not sure. Um, exactly what uh, what restaurant this uh, food came from. There's no branding on anything, like no names or anything. So it could be like a local neighborhood shop. I don't really know. Mm. The more I'm eating, the more I'm enjoying them. That is a really nice, uh, nice flavor. Very fresh. I'm going to get back to this in a minute, just to close that up to keep the, uh, the flies off it for now. And let's um, try some of the rice. And in case you forgot what it looks like, there's the, uh, the rice there with a fried egg on top. And a slice of, ooh, ah, mosquito, <laughs> mosquitoes on my uh, feet and legs again. I think this is lemon this time. That one had a piece of lime, but I'm, I think this is lemon. Yeah, chicken, uh, chicken in here too. I think this is the one with basil. This would be the basil dish. I don't, I don't think that had about too much, like not a, not a strong basil flavor. Hmm, oddly enough, this seems spicier than the pad thai. I can really feel it in my throat. <clears throat> as soon as I start <clears throat> making that noise, you know I'm, I'm dealing with some spiciness. And fried egg. Hmm. This is a dish <clears throat> that I've ended up eating quite a few times in, in local restaurants here because, I don't know, fried rice is kind of a go-to meal, you know, at one of these diners. You want something quick and fast and you end up getting a fried rice. And here they're often basil fried rice and they do not mess around with the basil that is something i've learned a really strong basil flavor so if you don't like basil this is not the dish for you luckily i like it but if i were making this for myself i'd probably cut the basil level <laughs> maybe in half because it is a lot it's a really strong uh, flavor Mm. I don't mind it. I don't want to uh, give that impression. I like it. But just if I were making it myself, I probably wouldn't add uh, quite as much basil. Because that is, uh, yeah, that's a lot. 
Nice. Okay, I'm going to uh, set the basil rice aside again just for a minute. I'm going to go back to the pad thai. But before I do that, just for fun, in case I'm supposed to, I'm going to add the sugar to my cucumber slices. Why else would they give it to me? Is it for these dishes? I, I don't know. But <laughs> just in case I'm supposed to, I'm going to add uh, sugar to my cucumber. And I guess I'll dump it all in. I mean, why not? They gave it all to me. No point using uh, just half of it. <clears throat> Get that all mixed up. Try it with the uh, sugar. <clears throat> I don't know. It's not my, uh, not my preference. I don't think I liked it. I liked the flavor before I added the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I wasn't supposed to. Wow. Yeah, that sugar adds <clears throat> a lot of something there. Maybe that's what it's supposed to taste like. Anyway, back to uh, Pad Thai. Yeah, this whole idea of adding extra sauce and, and spicing and things to your dish. I often wonder if that's kind of a subtle critique of the cook. I was eating at my favorite noodle shop just around the corner here the other day. And I was watching the other customers. And as soon as the bowl of noodles or whatever it was they ordered came to their table, I mean, they wouldn't taste it. They wouldn't smell it. They wouldn't do anything. As soon as the bowl or the plate was placed in front of them, on instinct, they would just start grabbing the condiments and start adding all this sauce and then all that sauce and they're opening jars and spooning this and adding all this extra spicing to it. And me being me, of course, I wouldn't do that because I'm not used to that much spicing. But at the same time, how do you know that it even needs it? You haven't tasted it yet, right? <laughs> My father would do this. I remember it as a child. I saw him do it every single meal of my entire life where, I mean, my, both my mother and my father were born in the Netherlands. So they grew up there and then they came to Canada as uh, young children or teenagers. And a traditional Dutch meal, it's a pretty simple one. You know, it might be some meat, some boiled potatoes, some vegetables, some gravy. And that's a Dutch meal, basically. And we had that quite a lot when I was a kid. And every single time my mother put you know, the plate down in front of my father, here's your dinner, his hand would go to the, the salt shaker every time, like just salt. And then he'd add you know, salt over the whole thing. And he would do that for every meal. And if there was no salt, this would be a big problem because he needs that salt hit when the food hits his mouth. But I always wondered about that because, you know, my mother made the food and she made it as best she could. And here you are, here's this delicious food. And the first thing, you know, that he would do is, you know, drown it in salt. Because, I don't know, did the food need the salt? Probably, I know it didn't, it tasted fine without it. But my father was used to that sensation of saltiness. And then he needed it, you know, with every dish. And I wonder whether, uh, you know, meals in Thailand are the same with all these people that just automatically add all this uh, spicing. Well, I think for now that is, uh, I think that's going to be the end of my home food delivery video number three. Um, yeah, we started out with a uh, really good meal from the Mogul restaurant, Indian food. Um, what was the name of my favorite dish? I think it's Palak Gosht, sort of. I, I keep going back and forth whether it was chicken or whether it was goat or 
um, mutton. I wasn't sure what the meat was, but then it was in kind of a spicy uh, spinach sauce, palash gosht. And then Kentucky Fried Chicken, a uh, fast food meal, and now a typical Thai uh, lunch dish, pad Thai and uh, basil rice chicken. Yeah, it's been uh, yeah really nice having these uh, meals delivered and my first experience with home delivery, as I said before. So thank you very much to my uh, mystery friend, and I'm just going to... Uh, neighborhood dogs. They, uh, you know, they're kind of mean to each other. There's a lot of howling and barking and growling over there. Anyway, I'm going to shut off the camera, enjoy the uh, rest of my meal, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.